Have you ever wandered in the roads of the old city of Nicosia? If you have, then for sure you notice this yellow stone that a lot of buildings were constructed with it. This stone is very typical for this area. And if you go close by, you'll see fossils in it. If you like to learn the story of the stone and the city, you can visit the Levendis Municipal Museum. A museum from 1984 highlights the history of Nicosia from the prehistorical times to the present day. When you enter the museum, you see a huge collection of faucets of shell. They say the story of Nicosia, how it was born. First, it was the Drodos Mountains that emerged from the sea, followed by Ventadactylos, creating this sea between these two islands. In that sea, marine sedimentation took place, making these fossils and the rock of Nicosia possible to be formed. And by uplifting from the sea of these two mountain range, Mesaria Plain was created, and by extension, of course, Nicosia, about 1.8 million years ago. Fossils like this are more visible in rivers where the soil are cut, and you can see in rivers a pieces of fossils in them. You just need to go hunting for fossils. Fossil hunters seems to be also known in antiquity where they were inspired to make even jewelry.